So I got to do my best on that, but you won't see it as much. You're going to be seeing. So this is the part you're going to see. So as long as we can shine up that the best we can, it should look pretty good. Same with this side. I personally only scuffed one area on the exhaust since I owned it. Right here. That marks from me. So I'm gonna start off with a 600 grit. Then after that, I gotta use the polish on it and the goo gun is for some tar that's on the exhaust tips. And I'm tired today. So this is this will be interesting. So I'm gonna be starting here as my main point there and there because that's gonna be the part we see. I want to make sure it looks the best. So this is gonna be hard going back and forth because I'm, my hands are getting a mess. But it's just like I thought. The uh, Right here where I need to concentrate first is going to be the hardest part because it's like they're grooved. Where they bent this in their machine, it actually causes little grooves. So you really got to give it some work here, some elbow grease, because you got to get in those little nooks and crannies. And if you're sanding on a flat surface, it's never going to get them. So it's going to take a lot of work if you're doing a Bassani system. The Borla systems already come polished, so it's easier to keep those ones clean. So far, I've only gone through a few pieces of 600 grit. This is the difference. This is what I want to show you. These lines in here are very hard to get. Even with as hard as I'm scrubbing, it's extremely hard to get. So I'm going to go in and actually see if I have any, like, 400 grit sandpaper and try and step it down a little more for, like, these bad parts. You know, that's just how Bassani made the pipe. I mean, I guess... Borla did theirs a little different. They probably don't have like these fine little, uh, because you can feel them. They're little ribs. I mean, they're nothing too noticeable, but. So I don't think the Bassani systems really come polished. Everyone I've seen on someone's car is usually like this, unless they had someone professionally buff it out. Because I can see with the work I'm putting into this how hard it's going to be to get this to shine. Versus uh, like Danny Johnson's video. His was a lot easier to do. He had a different system. So I got a bunch of 400. So I'm putting that in there. I put some car soap in there. Put some dish soap in there. All the soap does is add lubrication. That's why I was using the WD-40. Come on, swarm up. Just some soapy water. All right, so I'm gonna give uh, some 400 treatment now. Use that for after. I'm actually gonna grab my Dremel and see if I have anything to get in this. I'm sure I'm probably. So unfortunately, the Dremel can't even get these uh, lines out that are in between the channels. So like I said, I'm gonna do the best I can, but this isn't a Borla. So the sun's out on the deck. It's time to take a break. I'm dead. I've been out here for like an hour and a half, it seems like. And these were extremely hard. I actually had to take an SOS pad and wash them off. I'm still at the 400 grit stage. This I actually had to take the wire wheel till too. And I was doing it for a while. And look at, you can still see the lines. I mean, that's how hard that stuff is on there. So I'm gonna try my best on these. I was supposed to drop my gas tank today so I can put the pumps in tomorrow and I don't know if that's going to happen. It's just too much to do. So William with the blue convertible with all the polished parts, he's the one who recommend wet sanding with the 
WD-40, and I mean, it's good to an extent, but the water and soap Danny Johnson's way works more efficiently because when the WD-40 gets on here and it turns all black, it's like you're sanding and there's like this smear grease coat. So it's hard to grip the pipe as you're working on it. And it just seems like you're actually rubbing the black into the pipe. That's why I had to get the dish soap out and the SOS pad and clean all that slicky grease stuff off and see what I'm working with. And they look cleaner than I thought, so. Like I said, I still got a few more stages of sanding to go and then the polish is where it's really gonna shine. That's the last step. So I'm still out here polishing. I'm gonna try and get done with the sandpaper part of it so I can get to the, uh, the buffer. Cause I mean, this isn't gonna come out perfect. So I shouldn't spend too much time killing myself sanding it here. Cause as much as I want those lines to be perfectly gone, they're gonna be there still, but It'll be decent. All right, I'm basically done with the four and 600. I'm gonna do the, uh... oh shoot, I got 800 still. <laughs> oh yeah, see, as I'm filming this, Travis SVT commented, Borla is so easy to clean. Yeah, I know. That's why I said I'm only going so far. I mean, the, this bend you don't see as much and I even put a good effort in here. That just shows how much this is in there this is the part i'm gonna see it's better now but i mean it's bassani for you what are you gonna do i got borla mufflers at least there's the end of the 800 i'm stepping up to like the 2000 because that's all i had left store didn't even have a thousand or 15. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm finally going to hit it with the polish, and hopefully that is going to clear it up. There's still soap on this, by the way. So it's time to polish. I got them as clean as I could. I'm not going to sit out here all day. It's 4 o'clock now. And I'm trying to get the couple spots of tar off this with the goo gun, but I have a feeling I should have got bug and tar remover or tried that. But we'll see. Next, what we're gonna do is uh, put some polish on the applicator, get it going on the pipes, and see what it can do. So that's about as good as I can get these. You can still see the lines if you look up close, but they're much better than what they were. I emailed pictures to my buddy, and he said it's because they weren't mandrel bent. Woohoo! The expensive Bassani brand can't even be mandrel bent i think that's like laughable almost since their system costs so much money i think it's a joke and it doesn't even sound the best out of all of them so all done the tips are what they are there's still some tar on them but it should make my car look a lot better took up most of the day so i won't be dropping the tank today that'll be tomorrow's project hopefully before the mail gets here i'll have it dropped thanks for watching hope you learned something that the bassani system isn't the easiest system to polish